Hi, I'm Dr. Ben Newman. I'm a COVID researcher, among other things. Uh, and um, this is Ask Dr. Ben, where I'm going to try to answer your questions. As a bonus, I do have COVID right now, but it's not too bad. Um, I had ooh, all the vaccines and all the vaccines I was allowed to have. I would like to have had another vaccine. I feel like that might have made a difference. But uh, yeah, FDA, uh, in their wisdom, have not yet authorized it. So here we are. All right. Uh, let's see. The next question is from Kay. How are you doing? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we're in the UK and as you know, there are uh, no COVID uh, restrictions uh, here anymore. I was just in the UK and I was surprised. So Texas is not very masky, as you might imagine. Uh, you see them occasionally at the grocery store and it makes my heart grow a little bigger inside every time I do because uh, I'm always wearing mine. Uh, yeah. Um, hardly anywhere else, uh, um, never at work. Yeah. Um, which is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but Hey, it's a crazy world. Yeah. It's the world we want it to be. Yeah. All right. And, um, I noticed when I got off the plane in the UK, there was nobody wearing a mask. There were a few at the airport, but I think they were all tourists coming in from other parts of the world. And when you're just out in super crowded London, on the underground, anywhere else, they, <laughs> they almost didn't exist. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, somehow uh, the UK taking fewer precautions than Texas. Uh, and, um, yeah, that's the point at which you know you're probably not doing, yeah, <laughs> maybe the right thing. But, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, to be fair. This message actually came in during the low period. So it was a period with relatively low uh, cases uh, in the UK. And since then, I would say predictably, it spiked up. I thought they did 300,000 uh, new cases last week. And the hospitals are filling up again. And it's, yeah, it's another ride round the merry-go-round uh, coming up. Uh, because what else is going to happen? Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, uh, so this is from a different time. Um, and so we'll look at it from that. All right, so the question is regarding children and vaccines. Yeah, children should be vaccinated. Everyone should be vaccinated. The weirdest thing about this is the fear that has made people turn away from vaccines and turn toward a virus that literally kills people and hospitalizes enough, yeah, a lot more. It's the craziest thing to me, and fear makes you do weird things, but that is very much where we are. So I get where this is coming from, and it's not you, it's like everybody around you. Yeah, I mean, if I put my head out the door today, <laughs> I'm sure I would hear a little bit of it trickling down the street. Um, so no, this is a real thing. Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, kids eight and 10 have been invited for their vaccine. Fantastic. Yeah. Take that invitation. Um, they both had what I assume was Omicron back in January. It was about 50, 50 Omicron and Delta, but, uh, yeah, you could be right. Uh, uh, maybe not. If it was Omicron, they have maybe six months of immunity and by this point, that's now gone. If it was anything other than Omicron, they can probably be infected again as soon as the next wave comes around. I hope they have not been reinfected yet, but it's coming. Yeah. Um, from the way the virus keeps changing, like I've been saying all along, if we let this thing go, it's eventually going to change farther and faster than we can actually catch up with. And we should really not allow that to happen. But yeah, that's what people are doing. That's yeah. Public health is a team sport and you and I and everybody else happens to be on a team that isn't really trying to win this particular ball game. Yeah. And that drives me to absolute distraction, but those are the facts. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what can you do? Yeah. You're essentially playing this for yourself and playing this for your family. Yeah. Because right now we're not at the level of cohesiveness where we can think about getting everybody safe, which would be ultimately by far the best thing to do. Not add this thing to the list of 
problems that linger and just pick people off forever. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, uh, so now uh, so it says, yeah, I jumped at the chance of uh, um, having my vaccine last year. Good. Now triple jabbed. Good, but if it's less than six months or more than six months since the last jab, you're probably under vaccinated. Yeah, that's just how long these tend to last. Um, uh, I need reassurance that it's okay for the kids to be vaccinated. I would say yes. So I've just made a video, which may be the one before this or after this, depending which order they go up. But it's going through the FDA's um, filing from uh, Pfizer and Moderna. They were looking specifically at do kids need the vaccines and what happens when you give the kids vaccines and the answer is they get protected they definitely need the vaccines they get hit harder with the new variants than they did with the old variants um yeah basically it's a no-brainer from the actual numbers and they're nice big colorful graphs with very few words on them that honestly yeah uh, yeah you won't have you won't struggle with it seems you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going into the FDA. I'm going to read somebody's science presentation. That just seems like work. But these are not bad. Skip over most of the slides that have the words on them uh, and go to the slides with the pictures and then just figure out what's on the x-axis, what's on the y-axis, which of the lines are the little kids, and how does that compare to uh, other age groups. And then you'll say, whoa, <laughs> whoa, that's not good. It's generally that feeling over and over again, slide after slide. Um, that's the uh, best, most complete data uh, that I know of that is out there. Um, yeah, and it honestly, it looks good. Uh, the side effects appear to be minimal, uh, much less than people had feared. And I think a lot of that fear was really stoked up um, by people who just kind of didn't want the vaccine or just were afraid about other things uh, early on. So yeah, looks safe, uh, is effective. With the kids' vaccine doses, um, uh, actually with anybody, any vaccine dose, but even the really young kids, what they found is that two doses of an mRNA vaccine, which are the best, like most active vaccines, is not enough. You only really start to get substantial immunity to the Omicron-like viruses, which are all that's circulating right now, with the third dose. So anybody that's got less than three, and I know there are people walking around with one AstraZeneca or one J&G &J out there, and yeah, yeah, they are not fully vaccinated despite what their card may say. Um, but yeah, less than three doses or third dose less uh, more than six months uh, in the past, you are probably under vaccinated, very much at risk for catching the virus if you happen to be in the same place as somebody with it. And with surges across Europe and across America, and uh, I haven't looked lately, but I would assume in other parts of the world as well, uh, yeah, this is a uh, good time to get some protection if you're uh, in one of those categories, which most everybody is. So yeah, I would do it. And yeah, I don't know. If there are specific things that you know people are worrying about, send those in and I, I can look at them and... Um, I don't think there'll be anything there, but it's always worth looking, right? Yeah. So I hope that helped. I hope that's somewhat reassuring. Um, if it's my kid, and it is my kids, uh, yeah, I get them as many vaccines as they're allowed uh, of this particular one, just because I know that the virus is changing at a rate that kind of erodes how effective the vaccines are. And just because a thing is harder to stop doesn't mean we shouldn't try to stop it. Maybe it means we should try harder to stop it, right? You know, right. <laughs> yeah, of course. All right. Anyway, I'm sure that's plenty. Um, this has been Ask Dr. Ben, uh, who has COVID. And uh, thanks very much.